Hello, uh, welcome to another se uh, video series on firepower threat defense. I'm Nanda Kumar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot connection or traffic on a firepower threat defense using FMC. In order to troubleshoot a connection or a traffic, we have uh, two options. One is packet tracer, other one is packet capture. Both this option can be accessed either through FMC which is firepower management center or directly access the firepower threat defense using SS, uh, SSH and uh, through CLI you can do a troubleshooting. In this video I'm going to use firepower management center to do a demonstration. First let's see what is the difference between uh, packet tracer and packet capture. So packet tracer is a virtual thing so where you can simulate a packet without any need of real uh, host generating a traffic. So what that means is uh, you directly get into the firepower threat defense and then uh, say a matching criteria say um, uh, give a source IP, the source uh, destination IP, source port destination port and then uh, when you say uh, generate traffic the FTT is going to generate a tra packet with this matching criteria and then send this packet within the FTT and then see how the policy is getting affecting uh, affecting this traffic. On the other hand, we have packet capture. When you use a packet capture on an interface, either it, you can uh, run this packet capture on inside interface or outside interface or any other DMs interface. When you run that with some matching criteria, it is going to capture that live packet which is or which which are seen on that interface. In this video, I'm going to show uh, the demonstration of demonstration of packet capture. In the next video, you you will be able to see a demo uh, demo of packet capture. Let's begin. In order to access a packet tracer from FFC you have a two path to access one is under device device manager select the respective device on which you want to do a troubleshooting and then on the right post corner you have an a tool icon which is a troubleshooting icon click on that which is going to take you through the health and monitor section and then click advanced troubleshooting uh, tab once you click that it's going to take you to the advanced troubleshooting where you will find packet tracer and capture with a trace option the other way to access uh, the packet tracer and capture is through system health monitoring which is going to take you to the same page where we saw uh, and then under the application you can select your respective five power three defense in this case my i have this home iphone ftd i'm going to click on that so it's going to take me to the health and monitoring and under the um, advanced troubleshooting i click that and it's going to take me to the same page where i can see the packet tracer and capture option okay in here in this demo i'm going to uh, work with packet tracer let's assume that you have created a new policy and you want to test this new policy how effective it is um, on a traffic so you could use this packet tracer without the need of a real host generating the traffic say in this case in the first example i'm going to generate a traffic from an host which is in the which is in the 192.168.6. network and I want to check if this host has access to uh, yahoo.com so for that on the source IP I'm going to type in 192.168.6.116 and then under destination either I can feed in IP address or FQDN in this example I'm going to do an FQDN I'm typing yahoo.com and then uh, fill in rest of the uh, parameters this 192.168.6.116 is uh, I'll 
uh, it is this network is assigned to Wi-Fi so I have selected the interface Wi-Fi and then uh, source port should normally will be a random number and uh, destination will be 443 or HTTPS so other options are uh, op um, other options are optional like SGT number or VLAN for this demo I'm going to leave those things empty the output format you have three options one is summary next is detail and other one is same results with uh, which you can import to an XML file for the benefit I'm going to use it summary when you say start it's going to generate a packet with a source IP of this one destination to yahoo.com the packet will be simulated on Wi-Fi interface with the source port um, 2345 and destination port as HTTPS which is 443 and here is the output let's see uh, what is the output you could see the output in phase wise manner in phase one it looks for the route lookup uh, so with this it knows uh, to which uh, egress interface it should be passed to the next hop would be 192.168.2.1 which is a gateway on the outside interface so this is this looks good and then next on the phase 2 it checks against the access control policy I have uh, three access control policy here let's see uh, which interface uh, which access policy that this has matched it, it has checked against all the three policy and then found that this packet is matching against a rule which is uh, rule name is tor hyphen block hyphen url which is this this rule and then it also said the packet it will be sent to snot for additional processing where a verdict will be reached since this is a sync, sync packet uh, where for snot to work it needs more additional information that is like to which destination it goes what is the url so that snot is going to take additional uh, packets to for for it to uh, give its verdict but as of now for the first packet it um, it is it has been allowed next is the phase 3 it checks for connection settings um, uh, such as class map and policy map settings um, that uh, that rule again uh, shows that it is allowed on the phase 4 it checks against the NAT I already have a NAT rule here I have defined a NAT uh, for outbound traffic so um, this shows that this it has matched a NAT rule which is from interface Wi-Fi to outside which is an, uh, um, a dynamic uh, dynamic path uh, any traffic uh, matching uh, it gets added to an outside interface it matches this so phase 4 uh, looks good and then uh, phase 5 again it is a uh, NAT uh, per session and then op on option uh, phase 6, 7, 8 again it is IP option and, and other NAT modules that are coming into the picture uh, on the phase 10 you can see that um, it has created a flow on the LENA part, uh, LENA portion for further uh, stateful inspection and then um, phase 11 it's an uh, inspection that again it says that uh, the results are allowed so the packet continue to flow outside and the phase 12 um, the snot coming uh, come to comes to the picture and then uh, based on its uh, verdict um, it says that the traffic is um, allowed to pass through on uh, phase 3 again look up uh, for the egress interface it found that it is outside interface and the next stop is 192.162.2 um, so finally you see that uh, the results is uh, the traffic is allowed and continue to pass through the outside interface uh, so let's uh, look at some other traffic where it's going to get blocked um, so I'm, I have already created one more rule which says from uh, inside zone to outside zone 
and then a destination as 172.16.0.0 if slash 12 bit uh, to be blocked so I'm going to um, set the destination as 172.16.1.10 uh, let's keep rest of the things as it is and then um, let's start the traffic uh, so here you can see that uh, in the phase one uh, lookup um, it knows that it, it has to be on the outside interface next up would be 192.162.1 and then on the phase two are checking against Excel list uh, the result says drop and because uh, this packet is matched against a uh, rule which name is block rule which is precisely uh, this rule it get ma uh, it get matched and then since the action action is uh, block uh, the verdict of ACL is blocked and then uh, it does not require any further inspection so uh, the packet is dropped and then the results is been shown here that the, the final verdict is action drop with this we have come to the end of this packet trace video there will be there will be an another video on uh, capture trace uh, and other uh, features on firepower threat defense see you soon on another video bye bye